Satan uses Bible verses to deceive believers into disobedience and defeat because Christians trust the Bible and do not listen to God. They are always looking for a Bible verse. They are not seeking to hear from God. When they are given a Bible verse, they quote a different verse to support their opinion, the lie that they believe in. Satan did that when he tempted Jesus, but Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Matthew 4 verse 10 Jesus was not shaken nor deceived by Satan because he came to do the will of the Father and he received his guidance from the Father, not from Bible verses or the opinions of other people. God has a plan and a purpose for every person who accepts Jesus and is born again to become a child of God. The plan of God with your life is not written up in the Bible. The only way that you can know and perform God's plan for you, for your life, is if you are led by the Holy Spirit. Jesus promised the Holy Spirit to all those who believe in Him and obey Him, those who repent and are baptized in water and seek to follow Him. However, believers have been deceived by Bible verses. They believe that they are saved if they just believe in Jesus, but they never follow Jesus. They do not obey His teachings as recorded in the Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. They never repent and are not baptized in water and they do not seek nor receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. They are not led by the Holy Spirit that He gives to lead and guide them. They believe in the Bible, not in Jesus. They do not know Jesus. Jesus said, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. John 10 verse 27 Most believers do not know Jesus. They do not listen to His voice. They are not His sheep. Jesus does not know them, and they do not follow Him. But they believe they are saved and going to heaven because they believe selected Bible verses and they ignore and disregard other verses. Most believers do not have the Holy Spirit, and many who have received the Holy Spirit have been deceived by Satan to rather trust in Bible verses than in Jesus. They rather seek a verse or someone else's interpretation or application of the verse. That is how Satan uses churches to deceive believers into following their doctrines. Many believers study the Bible prophecies and develop their own theories and predictions about how the future will unfold. They predict the end of the world and the second coming of Jesus. They predict the false rapture that was developed from Bible verses. Many believers occupy themselves with endless Bible studies to determine and predict the future. They read and write books, attend seminars, run after false prophets, teachers and preachers, become involved in conspiracy theories. The end result is the same. Believers are destroyed and end up in hell because they do not follow Jesus. Prophecies given by God will be fulfilled in God's time and in His way, but men will not be able to predict or foretell how these will happen unless it were given to them by the Holy Spirit. Even then, it is futile to attempt to predict the future from prophecy. The Jews, to whom the oracles of God were given, did not recognize Messiah, Jesus Christ, when He came, even though they studied and knew the prophecies of the prophets. He did not match up 
with the expectation that they had of Messiah from their studies of the scriptures. When Messiah came, they crucified him. They trusted in the scriptures and did not ask wisdom from God. And that was why they were blinded to the truth. Jesus has a specific plan for you. And you can only live the life that he called you to live and do the works that he prepared for you to do if you are led by the Holy Spirit. Not by reading the Bible and going to church. The Bible tells us how other disciples of Jesus lived and some of what they did. But we are each unique. We live in a different age, under different circumstances, with different technology. We live in different countries, with different cultures. We are of different nations, of different races, of different gender. We were born with different unique qualities. We are each born unique. There is, never was, and never will be a replica of you. You are created wonderfully unique for a unique purpose. We are not to follow people or attempt to be like the heroes of the Bible. We must follow Jesus and do what He tells us to do. We must follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit that He promised to those who love and obey Him. We are called to become a part of the kingdom of God. We can only be part of the kingdom of God if we are born again and serve the King, Jesus Christ. We can only serve Him if we listen to His voice and do what He commands us to do. We can only know His will and have His specific directions for us if we follow and obey His directions. That He will give to us if we listen to Him. Jesus does not force anybody to serve Him. He invites us to follow Him, listen to Him, and obey Him. Live our lives for Him. If we do, He will give us eternal life, to be with Him for eternity. If we reject Him, we will spend eternity in damnation. Jesus Christ is the way, not the Bible, the Church, or any other way. Satan will do everything in his power to trick and deceive you. Do not trust and follow Jesus. He will use the Bible also. All those things that you trust more than Jesus. Do you trust in Jesus? Obey Him. Hear His voice. And follow Him every day. May Jesus bless you. Jesus Christ is alive and hell is real. I am here to introduce you to Jesus Christ so that you can know Him and follow Him and have eternal life. Subscribe to my channel to learn more about Jesus. May Jesus bless you.